Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here from Culiacan in Mexico. Today of course is going to be another amazing food day. I'm very, very excited. The food here is going to be exceptional and we're just heading over to get our first meal of the day to get some breakfast and I'm so excited to share it with you guys in today's video. Let's start eating. First stop of the day, we've come to a place. It's known as Los Parados Birria, and it's right here at the market. It's the Market Garmendia. It's one of the main central markets here in Culiacan. But of course, when you're in Sinaloa, the one thing you've got to have for breakfast is, of course, birria, which is that slow cooked beef stew. And what I love about the birria here already, I can tell, they put it some cabbage and cilantro on the top. It sort of serves as like a little garnish. The other birria we had in Los Mochis was not like that. They've already added a new dimension, which is the cabbage. It brings a little bit of a crunch, but I can't wait to try that out. Of course, first, we gotta get some lemon. We're gonna squeeze some lemon on top. And then of course, we're gonna get some salsa in. I'm gonna put some of that salsa within the soup. Gotta mix it all together. All right, finally, let's go ahead and give just the soup a try first. Mm. Once again, that rich beefy flavor, it's just there. You've got a bit of that tomato flavor once again, but it's that rich beefy flavor that really sets it apart. I mean, honestly at this point when you're tasting the soup, you can't separate it from the meat because the meat has just strung up into these little pieces that you can't really just get the soup by itself. Once again, you can see the top layer of fat on the birria here. It's absolutely incredible. All right, let's go ahead and try and get some of the meat. Ooh, look at all this flavor here with the fat and some of the lettuce as well. Let's go in. Oh yeah, that beef, it's just been cooking for such a long time. It literally just melts in your mouth. You don't need to chew that at all. And you can tell they put a lot of like little bits and pieces. I think they put some organs inside. They've put a lot of different crunchy bits in there to sort of mix up the contrast of the flavor. But overall, it's absolutely delicious. I've only gotten the small portion for 50 pesos, so you can obviously go larger if you want to. But the flavor, that flavor of the broth, it's so deep, it's so beefy. It's absolutely incredible. There's also some tortillas on the side, so you can always dip that in and create like a little soup tortilla, but this overall, it's just absolutely delicious. Mixed in, especially with that cabbage, it just brings extra crunch. With those organs inside, it also brings a little bit of an extra crunch. It just, everything just melts inside the soup. It's soft, it's tender. It's exactly what you want for breakfast. Wow, that has got to be one of the best birrias ever. I mean, that was way better than the one that I had, Los Mochis. The flavor was just, it was deeper. I mean, the one of those budget was already exceptional. Right? I mean, you've seen like how much I enjoyed it. Here, it's just spectacular. I guess that's why it's the capital of Sinaloa. You've got to be the capital of Birria to be the capital of Sinaloa because it's just so famous here. But absolutely delicious right here at the market. There's so many locals coming and getting food from there. And they only sell one thing, Birria, because that's what they're famous for. Um, but kind of getting hot. Let's see if we can get some sweet or dessert thing to cool us down a little bit. Next place we've come to is a place known as Raspadas Choco and they're famous for their raspados which is like a shaved ice kind of thing. There is no doubt that this looks absolutely amazing. It's topped off with coconut shavings. You've got ice. I got it with two flavors. You can mix it. I got leche quemada which is your burnt milk and then I got it with coconut on the top and it just just look at that. Okay, it's melting really fast. I've got to go and give it a try. It comes with a straw and a spoon. So let's just get a spoon in and let's try the top layer of the coconut first. All right, here you go with all the coconut shavings. Mmm. Cold, sweet, refreshing. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. It's so nice and sweet, and the, the ice, it's, it's just normal shaped ice. Now, of course, 
the coconut flavor is really strong, but you can taste the leche quemada, that burnt milk, that sweet, creamy, milky flavor from top to just floating up and mixing in with the coconut. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. The cost of this, even if it's a mixed flavor or one flavor, is 30 pesos, but the shaved ice is just amazing. Now, it's not the finest ice ever. It's kind of like a, it's a pretty like solid big chunks of ice, but absolutely amazing when it's melted down. It just creates the most amazing combination. Actually, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put the straw in and I'm gonna try it out all, just drink it all up. Let's go for it. Oh, oh yeah. That burnt milk kind of has like a caramelly flavor to it. That's kind of like flan mixed in with obviously the sweet, refreshing coconut on the top. Oh yeah, that's amazing. You've got to come here and try that. This is like a very local dessert. And considering how hot it is outside, how hot and stuffy it is in Sinaloa, you've got to come here and get a sweet, nice, icy refreshment just to refresh yourself before you can go back out in that heat because it is hot outside. De las cajetas. Next up, we've just gotten something really just local here. I don't even know the name of the stall. It's like a gordita stall. They just sell it right on the street. And they're selling these empanadas with cajeta. Now, cajeta is sort of like a caramel, like a Mexican caramel, but with like goat's milk. Um, and it comes in these like empanadas. You can see it's kind of like a semi-circle shape. It's supposed to be sweet, apparently. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. Although it's supposed to be like a caramel, it's not really sweet. It's actually like really, well, it's sweet, but the texture is more interesting. I mean, the dough on the outside is really like bready almost. It's nice and starchy and bouncy. The inside, like, it's sweet, but it's really not that sweet. And there's not even that much of it to fill it up, but it's not like a sugary, sugary sweet. It's more of like a creamy, milky, caramelized sweet. And I way prefer that sweet. It's not too overpowering. It's actually the perfect amount of sweetness to counterbalance the dough on the outside. The dough layer isn't even that thick on the outside either. So it works out really, really well. Thin layer of dough, thin layer of sweetness on the inside. I mean, these things are just really thin to begin with, um, but they will fill you up because it's actually just a lot of flour and sweetness inside, but absolutely delicious. You can find these around the center of Culiacan. And they're just really, really nice snack to have. Sweet and nice to just take along with you wherever you're going. Well, good evening, guys. I haven't eaten anything else today. And now it is dinner time. The food stalls are out. I am hungry and I am ready to share the next meal with you guys. So let's go start eating in Culiacan. <laughs> well, we've come to our last place for the day. It's a place known as La Uba and it's a really, really popular place. There's a bunch of locals here and they're famous for a whole bunch of things. Famous for tacos, for gorditas, for, for basically everything. But I've gotten two things. I've gotten tostadas and I've gotten gorditas and they look absolutely amazing. Now, this is a sauce I think you're supposed to pour over it. Um, but of course, we're gonna get some lemon first because lemon is always important. So we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon. We're gonna start with the tostada because it looks so absolutely good. Of course, you just gotta squeeze the lemon on top. And then next up, of course, we gotta get some of that salsa because this salsa is apparently very, very spicy. I'm gonna pour that all over because we know we love spice. All right, and I think I'm gonna pour a little bit of this as well. I just came with it, it's a little sauce, but we're gonna pour it over just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead, pick this up. It is a very hefty bite. You can see the meat is just dripping off the side over there. But let's go ahead and give this a try. I have never had anything like this. It's so fresh. I mean, the one thing that comes to mind is fresh. 
you put a layer of meat, that's nice. The, the crunch from the tostada is obviously very crispy, but it's also crunchy from the lettuce and the tomatoes and the onions they put on top. Everything is just crunchy. But like I said, the main thing that comes to my mind is freshness. The freshness of the ingredients here are really unbeatable. And the best part is during the day, you can see them literally chopping up the cabbage, making it as fresh as possible. Oh yeah, this is absolutely incredible. All right, next up, of course, we gotta go for the gorditas, which we're gonna do the same thing with. Gonna get a bit of lemon, we're gonna squeeze it over on top of all the ingredients. And then of course, gotta get some of that salsa, the bottle of salsa. Gonna pour it again all over here. And same as we did earlier, this little mysterious sauce, I have no idea what it is, but we're gonna pour a little bit over there as well. Now this gordita, as you can see, it's not, the skin of it doesn't look as crispy, but we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. I have to say, I still prefer the tostadas. The gorditas are nice, a little bit fluffy on the dough, but the crispiness from the, the, to, uh, the tostadas are just absolutely amazing. But once again, same thing. Super, super fresh ingredients. It's just really, really, really fresh, and that's what really makes them stand out here. The ingredients are amazing. They're crispy, they're nice, they're fresh. They've been working all day to make the best food out here and there's a reason why it's so popular here. Of course on the side I got some Agua de Jamaica. This is a very popular drink here to help refresh yourself especially when it gets a little bit too spicy but absolutely amazing. 100% worth it. There's a reason this line is so long and locals are always lining up to get food here. Well, it turns out not only do they make an amazing gordita and tostadas, but they're supposed to be really, really good at their flan as well for dessert. So, you know, when somebody says they have good flan, I can't resist. I've got to get it. So here we go. I mean, look at it. This one's really, really solid. I really like how like it, it, it's a very solid piece of flan. All right, let's go ahead. Got to give this a try. Oh. I mean, I've only had one flan since I've come to Mexico, and this is way better. What I love about this is that it's so, so solid. Like, it's almost like solidified, like, cake. It's almost like tofu. It's really, really solid here. But the thing is, it's not like a stickiness from sweetness or caramel. It's the stickiness from the eggs and the cream, the actual flan itself is sticky, not the sugar, not the caramel on the outside. You can see the caramel layer is really, really small. It's just a thin little layer, so it's not too overpowering sweet, which is what I love about flans here, but it's so solid. It is dense. It is just full of flan in there, and you know that that's made of real ingredients, real eggs, real milk, real cream. Oh wow, that's absolutely amazing. I mean, if you come here, get all the food, but don't forget dessert, because this is absolutely incredible. ¿Cómo fue la comida? Exquisita, riquísima, se la recomendamos. Muy buena. Deliciosa. Sabrosa. Y los postres también. Sí, y sí. Y la compañía también. Y nuestro, nuestro amigo Paz también. Sí. I mean, that was just an incredible meal. Amazing company, amazing food. Just a, a wonderful experience. I mean, uh, La Uva, it, it's so popular, it's so famous, and for a good reason. You absolutely have to try it out. Today we've just had so much delicious food. It's been amazing. I, I love this city. It's a cool city, but the food scene here is just absolutely exceptional, and there's still so much food that we have yet to try. So hopefully one day I'll come back and I'll try it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I'm so excited to share more of this country, so make sure to stay notified, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.